What is up guys, Cruise Designs here, and today I've got a Cinema 4D tutorial for you. In this tutorial, I'm going to be going over all six of these options in the NURBS menu. There's Hyper NURBS, Extrude NURBS, Loft NURBS, Lathe NURBS, Sweep NURBS, and Bezier NURBS. You've probably got some experience with Extrude NURBS, but I know a lot of people don't tend to use the other ones very much. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you what all of them do. So let's get started. And we're going to start with hypernerbs. Now hypernerbs uh, basically smooths out objects. So I've got this object. Um, this could be maybe some kind of doll, like a soft, a soft toy. And at the moment it's got really sharp edges. And no soft toy has sharp edges because it's soft. So we're going to grab a hypernerbs and uh, your object must be editable. Uh, to do that, uh, say you've got this cube, all you have to do is hit C on the keyboard and it will make it editable. So I've got my editable object here. I'm just going to drag it in and it's immediately smoothed everything out. And you can also drag up the subdivisions and that will make it uh, smoother edges, not so sharp. And equally, we can pull that down to one and as you can see those edges are a lot more jagged so that's hypernerbs delete that and the next one is extrude nerbs now you've probably got experience with this I'm not going to go over it too much uh, say you've got a spline like a circle make this a bit smaller uh, simply grab the extrude nerbs and drag the spline into it and it will make it 3D you can then play around with uh, this value here make it uh, wider and then you can add a fillet cap and play around with that etc there we go and we'll just render that so that's extrude nerves it basically extrudes a spline so we'll get rid of that the next one is the uh, lathe nerves I think that's how you pronounce it to do this uh, you also need a spline so we're going to change the view come up to this uh, square up here and then we're going to go to front view and maximize that and this red line is the floor if you like so we're going to drag it up so that's near the bottom drag the view up so the red line is at the bottom and then grab one of these spline making tools so you could have freehand, uh, bezier, B spline linear, cubic, akima or spline. I'm going to go with uh, Bezier. And then you want to draw um, a cutaway of an object. So, see, you're looking at it from the side. I'll show you what I mean. So, I'm going to make a wine glass for the sake of this tutorial. So, I'll click here, drag up, and then drag back down like this. And we're going to come down, this is the stem of the wine glass, down a bit more, we're going to curve that, bring it down to there, and then bring it back into the centre. And it's best if, you, uh, if both of your points finish on the green line. So we've got that, you don't need to join them up. We've got our side profile of a wine glass. We're then going to hop back into perspective view. And you'll see there's our spline. We're then going to grab the lathe nerves, simply drop the spline into the lathe nerves, and we have a wine glass. You can, of course, in the lathe nerves in the object, drag the subdivision up. So make uh, nice smooth edges, and there's a wine glass. So obviously you can use this to make loads of things. Uh, a simpler thing would be a bowl. Uh, you can make you can make so many things with this. It's a really nice tool, and it's not used very much. So I suggest suggest you uh, come up with things to make. So we're going to delete that, and the next one is the loft nerves. So to use the loft nerves, we need splines again. Um, you need at least two splines. So I've got my circle. I'm going to duplicate that and drag it along. And then I'm going to leave it like that for now. So I'm going to grab my loft nerves, drag 
both of these circles in and you'll see it's joined them I've now got a cylinder and once you've got this cylinder you can also play around uh, with the different sizes of your splines so I've got my circle here if I drag this circle up you'll see it gets bigger and equally if I drag the back one up I can make that bigger or smaller what you can also do is grab another spline such as a star I'm going to make this a bit bigger drag this along and drag this into the loft nerbs and it will connect it just like the others I'll show you one more time, I'll drag another one we'll get a rectangle pull that along and I'll make this nice and big drag that onto the loft nerb so the arrow is pointing down and there you go it's connected so here we've got a very abstract shape I could delete the star and it's just connects them up delete the circle and there it's a much nicer shape so you can play around with that add different things take things away very useful tool and next is sweep nerbs so sweep nerbs you need uh, we're going to need to draw another spline again so we're going to go back into our front view grab the bezier and then for the sake of the tutorial I'm just going to make a kind of curved line maybe like a snake like that so there's my snake go back into perspective view and so this is basically with the uh, sweep nerves you could create a wire or a snake it basically follows the path of this now you might be thinking what follows the path of this another spline so from here you could choose your other spline I'm going to start with a circle I'm going to make the circle a bit smaller grab the sweep nerves make sure uh, the spline that you drew is the very bottom in the hierarchy is at the very bottom highlight both of these and drag them into the sweep nerves and there you go we've got this very fat wire and just like the loft nerves we can edit it now we can click make sure you've clicked on the circle and change the width so we've got a wire equally we could delete that grab let's say a square make that smaller and drag that in and now we've got a square shape render this there we go that looks pretty cool and there so the sweep nerves can be really useful as well and the very last nerves in the menu is the bezier nerves this is probably the uh, least useful one I would say um, it basically gives you a plane and then you can extrude from the plane this might be good for something like creating a profile of a face and I'll show you what I mean so we're going to come into our so we need our selection tool the arrow with the circle around it and click on the bezier nerves and the grid points X and Y are the key things with the bezier nerves so we're going to pull that up to 8 and if I then come to this make sure you've got this view with the three dots around it just below the orange double arrow and you'll see we've got all these blue lines now wherever these blue lines meet that's where a point is that you can extrude so make sure you've got your arrow with a circle around it your selection tool you can hover over uh, one of these points and then grab the arrow and extrude it like that we could select several different points like these two and then pull them back and of course like the other ones we can change the subdivision to make this uh, a lot smoother pull that up to 40 and 40 and that's created a much smoother extrusion and as I was saying with a face, um, you could extrude a nose and a 
the eyes, put the eyes in there, and then of course, got the mouth, and there we go. So that's just a simple profile to get you started on a face. So, uh, not one of the most commonly used ones, but I'm sure there's many uses you can find to use it. So that's uh, all of the nerbs, all of the nerbs in the nerbs menu. I haven't gone over all of them in great detail, but uh, I think it's pretty much uh, everything you need to know to get started with them. Uh, in a, another tutorial, I might go over this menu or some of them in this menu. There's a lot of them. So I hope you found the tutorial helpful, and please comment, rate, and subscribe. It really helps. This is Cruise Designs. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.